AC guy 1948 here. Gonna do a little more work on the George. Get some light in here. There we go. Maybe you can see it now. Got a lot of it primered up the other day. Cleaned up, primered. I still need to tape off the stickers. I'm gonna do that today. Um, I put a little bit of the color I'm using on with a brush to see how I like it. And uh, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna tilt it up on its side, paint underneath, tilt it up on its other side, paint underneath the inner side of the other side. Like get that side done up underneath and then flip it and do the underside of, up under behind here. And uh, yeah, then I'll uh, pop the wheel off. Maybe I'll pop it off while I got it up on the side. I don't know yet and paint it. But we'll see. Before I get started on that though, I gotta get everything out of here. I don't want overspray on. Cause I will be using the gun for this project. Here's the George hood. Looking pretty nice. I just did that with a spray can. It turned out good enough. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, no. That's just dust. Okay, good. <laughs> I was thinking I'd see something that bad when I painted it. Okay, well, Gorelli will be the first thing to get out of here. Well, while I got it here, let's see if it'll start. Choke. Okay, gonna back out the Panzer. Hasn't been running in a few days. Or no, this one the key's backwards. I don't know why that is, it just is. Neutral, okay. Oh, it's so close. I should give it a little more throttle. Hmm, do it a lot more throttle. Give it a little choke to get warmed up. Nope, she didn't like that. Nope, didn't want to idle. Okay, let's get back to the George. Well, I was working on the George Workbird, and turns out there's a lot of grease I missed. I put primer on it, and then I noticed it uh, up underneath, and then there's some under the back wheels, and my pressure washer just won't. I've got an electric one right now. It claimed to be 3,000 PSI. I it gave 100 bucks for it, so I'm not too mad about it being wrong, but uh, it does a good job for what it is. But, um, I went and bought this today. Cost around $330, $340. It's an electric start. It's a power stroke. 
3200 PSI at 2.5 uh, gallons per minute. Here's some of the uh, specs on it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a full unboxing or how's this going to work. Got instructions. If you need assistance, well, I think I can figure this out. That's good. Big sheet of instructions. Both sides. Throw those away. Let's see here. Pressure hose. Here's the top half of the handle. Got a little bit of packing foam on it. Let's see here, what else we got? That comes out. Oil, very good. The manual. And a charging system for the uh, charging cable for the battery. handle is underneath the engine. I'm going to put this down for a second and pull the engine out. Or, I'll just jump. Okay, and here we have the engine out. Turns over. That's always a good sign. Has a spark plug in it. Yep. Can't tell what type it is. Looks like it says L something. Uh, I'll run it. Run it with that one. The electric start stuff's up under here. We have to read the manual and figure out the battery. I guess the battery's in it. Possible the battery's either dead, not hooked up, or I don't know. Well, we got choke. I'd say so. You fuel on and off. Gas fill. good. I guess this top one's got a filter in it or something. I don't know what that top piece is. Oh, that might be to keep it from spilling. Okay, here's your one end of the hose. The other end's still in the box. Looks pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to kind of throw this together okay and here's the pressure washer I had been using I have the hose full of pressure already so uh, I kind of have to shut off the water and use it to get it out say uh, Arkison 3000 psi pressure washer this is an electric one uh, it's been a good little unit the soap dispenser works good uh, the hose that came with it though was what was it rated at? Like, yeah. 2320 PSI and it claims to be a 3000 PSI. You come over to this one and it's rated at 30, 3100 PSI. So I believe this one a lot, a lot more than that one. But I can't complain too much. It's been pretty good. It's just not hard enough for, doesn't hit hard enough for what I need it to do. Like it doesn't hit hard. Let's see if I can get over to my. Ah, I can't bring it close enough. I got a tangled mess here. But um, this one. Oh, if I can hold on. Okay, let's compare on the uh, on this how good it does. Here's at full pressure. much further back. Really, that's 
not too bad. Like I say, it's not, it's not worse. But now we're gonna find out what the uh, gas one here does. I have not fired it up yet. So we'll do a cold start on that once I get some gas in it. I did put the oil in it. So it's ready to go in that regard. It came with oil. Looks like it's just enough for what it needs to be, which is all I needed it to be. All right, be back in a minute. If it don't start pouring rain first. <laughs> okay, well, I just turned the water on. Let's see how it purges the system. Here it comes. A lot of air to get rid of there. All right. I'm going to throw some gas and an end in it. And we'll see about firing it up. Okay, it should be ready to run. Here's your off switch, on switch, and if it had uh, the electric starter charged up, I could push in and back on. Ah, that's kind of a weird. It's like you got to push down and in on it. Oh, I bet the rain's about ready to come up. Well, I'm going to take one of these ends. Uh, we'll just take a fan style. Clip it in the end here. There we go. All right. Well, put you down over here and see if it'll. Uh, guess you can see good enough. Just a hope. I'm gonna give it some choke. Do you have a primer ball? I don't see one. All right. Give it some choke. Make sure it's in the on position. between the two. Well, um, I can't really compare the two. That's no fair comparison. That thing is so much more powerful, and really, it's not much that not much louder to my ear. So here's this thing running. Well, so really, it's not that much louder when you. Oh yeah, really, it's not, this isn't that bad noise-wise compared to that, so. All right, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.